The way that this client came to us is they saw another home that we had previously designed. What they loved about it was the fact that we had mixed a lot of warm elements and a little bit of glamorous elements. They said, well, can you do that to our house? And I said, oh my gosh, that's what we do. That's Organic Glam. Organic Glam is a word that we made up that means we're mixing organic elements with glamorous elements. It could be wood mixed with metal, mixed with a beautiful chandelier. When we drove up to this house, you can imagine, it's such a gorgeous house. It's actually a 20-year-old house. It was a show house originally for Christopher Holmes, who's a very esteemed builder here in Vegas. But it was just time for the house to get a little bit of an update. When we opened the door, this incredible chandelier that was already in place was gorgeous, but it needed a little bit of organic glam touch to make it feel part of the house. By adding just a simple wood wainscot treatment and a little bit of a faux treatment that softened the walls, we brought those two things together. It felt warmer and not cold anymore. When you look to the right, there's this beautiful courtyard in this sculpture. She is magnificent. She was made by a sculptor in Europe and she pretty much is the center of the home and all the bottom floors really focus towards her and the outdoors. In the piano room, which was specifically meant for this beautiful player piano, the room already had this beautiful leather sofa in it. We decided to keep the sofa because it was low enough where it didn't obscure our view to our incredible sculpture. The one thing that we really splurged on in this room was the sculpted marble wall. This wall was previously like a dark stone and it just kind of made the whole room dark. This tile was imported from Italy. It is solid stone and it just provided the serene backdrop we were looking for. By saving a little bit of money on the furniture and not having to replace everything, the client felt a little bit more comfortable creating this incredible focal wall. The formal dining room came with this incredible onyx table, and that onyx table is never leaving this house. It is so heavy. There was a cream-colored rug under the table that had gotten a little bit dingy and dirty, and she really, really hated it. We had to find one that we were able to cut around the pedestals in the table and install it on site. And it finally all came together, but it was quite a process. And the other thing that we did in the dining room is we replaced the pendant lighting. When we finally came upon the ones that we have here, we said, oh my gosh, these are perfect. Each one of these pendants kind of creates a little spotlight, just like you'd have like in a New York Michelin restaurant. They're so beautiful and it really highlights the stone. Entering the living room, we immediately noticed the gorgeous ceiling. The floor was beautiful, but the fireplace wall was completely underwhelming. We changed all of the stone around the fireplace facade. We ended up doing some beautiful millwork and that gave this whole area just a more finished look. As we turned around and faced towards the kitchen, we took that slat treatment. We faced the front of the kitchen island, which previously was just drywall. And you'd be amazed at how much just that one little thing really just helped tie those two rooms together so the whole place feels like one big room. The way that the bar was designed before, it had this odd little step on the back wall of the room, which kind of shortened the space. So we took that out and we did this wonderful treatment that we mixed a little bit of metal, upholstery and mirrors, almost makes it look like there's another room peeking beyond there. Now, when you're standing in the living room looking straight through, you see something else interesting. It almost makes you want to walk in. They're like, ooh, what's going on in that space? And a really fun little fact is even the fish got a makeover. So that was a lot of fun. We really love the view of this room. It's got such beautiful landscaping. It's an indoor-outdoor feel. If you have a room with a tall volume, let's use it. Let's make your eye go up. They had very undersized art pieces over the bed. So these are the pieces we came up with, and they really just made a huge difference. And then as we look to our left, we have a little retreat area. We pretty much just redid everything in this area. Can you work with the furniture we have? We get that question a lot from clients, and the answer is yes. Not everything makes the cut. 
And that's of course a decision between the client and myself. It's not like I'm just saying, get rid of it. And in this house, we kept probably three, four pieces that came with the house, but we added things around it that really made it kind of feel more updated. This home has an incredible entertainment room upstairs, and it was really not poppy. Lots of televisions, lots of random furniture thrown in there. Drywall, I said, you know, let's make this room dark and sexy, because when you have a really big space like that, a lot of times a way to make it feel cozier is to make it darker. But we kept the existing games, the red sofa, we kept the popcorn machine, but we changed the theater furniture, we added a rug, the three televisions that did one big screen. We found this beautiful wallpaper and the creme de la creme is the lighting. Lighting is always one of our favorite elements and as you can see, these chandeliers really were the icing on the cake. The primary bedroom, I loved it right away when I walked in. It just had a nice feel to it. We said, I think we need some new furniture here. That one was a little bit too tired. So we replaced all of the furnishing pieces in the bedroom area. It had a nice little seating area. We recovered the sofa and just added some beautiful decorative pillows. The last thing that we did in the room was to pick the lighting and that just added a whole nother layer that made it feel much warmer, much more beautiful and definitely more luxurious. Interior design is a very intimate process in the sense that you learn everything about your clients' lives typically. You're in their home, in and out of their home, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. So there has to be a high level of trust and a high level of comfortability. And that's really, really, really important to get the best result. What you're seeing here was a magical collaboration. We loved these clients, they loved us. We worked extremely well together and we really tuned into each other. And then we put that into a design element where when you come home, there's just no place on earth that you'd rather be. And that's exactly what we strive for each and every time we engage with a new client.